Welcome back to The Art of Rust, everybody. This is Ventola. And today I'm doing a video on the color palette and the various secret colors that are on that palette. I had a comment on um, my last video. A gentleman uh, wanted to know how this other painter got flesh tone color for his painting. And so I looked into it, and yes, it's one of the secret colors on the color palette. And I know that there's some there. I've been using some of them, but I've never really mapped out the whole palette. So I figured, hey, why don't I do that? So I did. I did it, and I'm going to share what I found with you. And I recommend what I, kind of doing what I did as I, I took a piece of paper and I drew out the color blobs, and then I labeled the spots where I found colors with a letter and then the various uh, corresponding colors that popped up when I clicked in those areas. And the areas we're talking about are these little triangle uh, negative space areas in between the color circles. And when you click in those areas, different colors will appear that aren't actually on the color palette. Now I call them secret colors. You can, maybe they're intentional to be in there and they just never told us, or they did tell us and I never saw the post, but whatever the case, there are extra colors there for coloring. So I'm going to go step by step and tell you what I found. You can ignore the top areas and the bottom areas down here, and I'll just give you blacks and whites. Where you want to start is the little triangle area underneath the second circle from the top, so right where my mouse is hovering. So if you click there, that's what I'm calling spot A, that is where you actually find the flesh color. And depending on where you click in these areas, the, the, the shade will change a little bit, so you'll have to do some pecking around sometimes to get the exact color you want. But this one is primarily just kind of a flesh color. And it's pretty dark. If you put some white down, and then do some flesh over the top of it, you'll get a little lighter flesh color. Anyway, so next one is spot B, and that is this little triangle area. If you click in there, you'll kind of get this weird off-white color that ends up turning green sometimes because there's green so close to it. So you'll have to click around for a while, but you'll get various shades of off-white or this yellowish green looking color. Spot C, which is just underneath here, it's up here, not down here, but more up here, then you'll get this really nice pale blue, and there it is. So you get a nice pale blue. It's pretty close to the other blues, but paler. So, you know, if you want to do some shading and some uh, layering of colors, then you can find a nice light, 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 light blue uh, in that spot, spot C. Now, if we jump down a little bit into this area, spot D, you get a whole bunch of different purples, um, depending on where you click. So, a little bit of that. Let's... Uh, Clear that. So you can get that purple, a little darker purple, and there is another one in there too if you click around. So that'll get you your purples. Now jumping over to spot E, which is what I call this little area, that is your pinks. So you'll get a couple different shades of pink up here. Kind of more salmon pink, a little bit lighter. There's a few different shades. Now, we go all the way back to the bottom of the big blue circle here, right here. So I call spot F. Nope, I take that back. We're going back up here. So I didn't find anything here, really, of importance. But here, this little area is really important. So the bottom of it will get you a, a, some blues and some purples. Yeah. So kind of a purplish blue down here. And at the top side of it, if you go just up diagonally a little bit, then you get some more pinkish purples, some more bold pinks. Again, if you want to do a bunch of layering shading, you can start with your other pinks, your other pinks, your lighter pinks that we found, and then mix them in with these other pinks. Moving over, each this spot here, this is where we get some, a lot of different things actually. There is browns, there's a dark, dark woody brown that's a little bit more um, bold than the standard brown. 
and then there is more pinks and there's some nice blues in here too there they are so you get kind of a it's starting to look like a cobalt blue almost and which is a little bit different than the other blues that you see around so yep so a nice bold uh, cobalt blue there spot I this is where we go all the way back to the bottom corner here that's what I'm calling yeah spot I and this one is tough because you're gonna get a lot of different stuff but there it is it's kinda like smack dab a little bit lower than just the middle right towards the yellow you get basically uh, this bold orange it's a really nice bold orange if you compare it to the orange that is available on the palette you see the one that's available is more yellow in tone and this is much more bold this is like like a Home Depot orange if you work at Home Depot you can paint yourself in your vest alright next spot is J this is what I'm calling this area J is pretty awesome J has a whole bunch of greens in it and so that color and that color if you get it just right there is an olive in here um, but you gotta hit it just right so you can play around there and you can get a few more shades of green so the next spot over we're gonna skip this area this didn't really have much that wasn't already on the color palette so we're gonna skip that and up to here spot K is another round of purples a few more different uh, shades of purple over one more just above the edge in L this is where you get the super bold bright red the blood red the fire engine red whatever you want to call it I yeah I think there's only one shade in that area so the standard red is very subdued it's a very subdued looking red so let me just clear this again so this is the standard red yay and then the fire engine red much much more glossy bold and uh, good for good for painting now going down to spot M is over here underneath the yellow bit this little area is for spot M click there and that's where you're gonna get uh, some really subdued dark oranges almost burnt sienna I guess you could call it almost brown but uh, play around in that area and you'll get get some special special orange colors there we go yeah things are looking a little weird on my screen tonight hopefully this comes through better on the video next spot in this middle area is where we're finding more greens um, a whole bunch of different shades yellow greens lime greens uh, if you get it just right, yeah, there's more of an olive greens that you can find. Um, they're, they're pretty good, since green is very lacking on this uh, color, the standard color palette. Moving over to spot O. Spot O is where I found some grays. Now, of course, it's really easy to do gray by mixing white and black. Um, with different shader brushes but if you just want to layer some quick gray and not go through that hassle you can find your grays in spot O which is right here I'm just gonna scoot right back down to spot P which I'm calling this little spot here spot P and that is actually kinda neat because that gives you tans if you do it right this one is a little trickier and it was working earlier but come on hmm now this totally worked for me before I don't know why it's working and not working now I'm getting various shades of gray okay there we go all right so that's yellowy tan but it's almost right on in between them as you can see now I'm just getting a bunch of 
I'm not getting the colors I was getting before. There we go. There we go. There's the tan. It's kind of that peach color again, that flesh color. There's a lot of colors in this area. So watch out for spot P here. You'll find some interesting stuff. I'll move over quick. Let's speed this up. Uh, this is spot Q. And in spot Q, we find a bunch of really dark greens, forest greens. And oh, there's our olive green again. And our really deep greens. Again, greens are really lacking on this color palette. So uh, finding these is really, really helpful. Yeah, green is tough. I, mean, I did the super banners for the um, Proxy Clan that was uh, in the video that we were Shadowfrax did. I did a, a banner for um, one of the members, and he had a green, green avatar that I had to paint on there. But I actually didn't know about secret colors yet, so it took me like three hours of blending the various standard colors on this palette to get an olive green, and and I posted it, and some guy commented and said you know their secret colors right and this is where i found out about it and i went no and i went back in and that would have saved me like probably two hours of color mixing because it was a lot of green that i had to use for that banner so yeah live and learn i guess so that was the green area that's spot q so if we go to r which is up here above the white then you can find some cobalt blues various shades of blue there it is nice cobalt blues just click around in this this area you'll find some nice nice paler blues now if you just dump down a little bit here this is what I'm calling spot s right here where I'm wiggling this is just deep deep blue IBM deep blue which is a really nice color to have at your disposal for doing well anything you want blue so next over spot T which is this side spot here this is where we're finding the maroon this is one I use all the time I love this color so it's so we'll do a standard red which basically looks pink compared to it and then that uh, fire engine red you can start to see the various various shades of red that you can get automatically in these color areas. So that was T. We're going to go to U. U is right here. There's really not in here. There's some more grays, but you already got gray here. So we're going to go in this area, spot U. You get these super dark mossy greens super dark so if you were trying to do some more military uh, looking stuff you want to do camouflage in a painting this is where you're gonna find those really nice dark military greens now jumping right across the white into this little section here this is spot V V is where you can find a crazy dark purple there it is yeah Nice dark purple. Fill it up there. Yeah, it's a little darker than some of the other purples that we've seen. Now, spot W is really tricky. It's the last one on the list. And spot W is this area here, but it's kind of like towards the edge. Not here, not in the middle, not the bottom, but more towards the edge. You gotta hit this really weird sweet spot, and you'll find it. And it's right there. And that's the darkest red, darkest, darkest maroon that you can find. So the reds are kind of mapped out on this side. So I'm sure there's a pattern to all of this if you actually paid attention, but I'm not going to pay attention. So deep red, and then you've got the maroon, standard red, and then finally the bright red. So you can do some interesting stuff there so that's it that's all I found um, like I said there's multiple shades of a lot of these colors in these areas so these are the primary colors that I found in these areas there might be some other shades and uh, play around see what you can find but that's definitely going to open up your possibilities for painting so instead of doing other things there's a lot of shooting going on so I'm going to say my goodbyes right now 
before I get shot in the back of the head. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, put them down in the comments. I'll try to put this together as a nice um, as a nice downloadable picture that you guys can put up. You can print out or just save on your computer. That's going to take some time to put up, so maybe that'll come later. But if you want to just do it with pen and paper, uh, I think that would suffice for the time being. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. All that stuff that people say at the end of videos. And have a good night.